Hi, welcome back. I'm Tammy from Restitch, and today I'm going to show you a video on my Singer 591. It's a commercial machine, and I'm going to do a close up view on it so you can see what the machine's all about. Okay? All right, here we go. All okay. right. So this is the machine and it's a heavy duty commercial machine. It can sew up to a half inch thick. And I'm going to go ahead and just go over it with you real quick. Um, this is the on and off switch that turns it on. Okay, and then underneath here you have the foot pedal, which is what makes it go. And then this here is the knee pedal to lift the foot. And then you have the heavy duty motor here and the belt. And then right here we have the reverse button. And then you have your uh, stitches per inch on here. It goes up to 30. I can only get it to go up to 20, though. It goes all the way down to 5 stitches per inch. Okay. And then over here is the hand knob that turns. You turn It turns this way towards you um, to make the needle go up and down. And then you have, um, here you have the thread holder, and um, then you have these, that's the guide for the thread holder. And then you come down to the machine, you've got the uh, bobbin uh, holder where you wind the bobbins right here. This is where you put the bobbin on here and then clip it, and that unlocks it. Okay, and then this is the tension for the bobbin. And then for the threading, this is where the threading begins. And it is um, three holes. And then the next step is through these three holes there. Give you a good look at all this stuff. Close up view. And then it, the thread goes down here through this. And then around the tension and then you see this little wire the thread has to pull back and hook on that and then it comes back down around this little hook here and then back up through this piece then it goes through this hole this is the part that makes the needle go up and down okay then come down and it goes through here and then hooks into here. I'll bring the light down so we can see a little better here. And then this is uh, where the thread goes through and the needle goes in. And then the curved part of the needle is always on the right side. Okay, and then take you around and show you back side and this is the foot lever that takes the foot up and down okay and then this is part of the machine and then this is an oiled machine so when you need to put oil in it this lifts up you lift this part of the machine pull it up it's real heavy and then this is your oil level. It kind of bubbles in here when you're stitching. So you can see how much oil you have. And then here's the needles that you use on these. It's a 2270 Singer needle. And they're round. There's no flat part on this part that goes in at all. And then two place the needle you just unscrew this right here and the needle comes out ok 
Okay, and then just slides up in there. You make sure that the curved part of the needle is facing the right side. And then, I don't know if you can see up in there, there's a hole up in there where it goes. Hold it. And take the screw and screw it tight again. Make sure that's nice and tight so the needle don't come out. Okay, and that's how you put the needle in. And uh, that's this. Uh, great machine that I love. I've had it for years and um, I just love it. I don't even know, think I would want one of the new uh, digital ones because this machine is just awesome. Okay, um, I hope you liked my video. Um, please like, share, and subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications. And um, if I end my videos quickly, uh, I am a sewing shop, so sometimes a customer comes in and I just have to stop my videos. Sorry about that. Okay, uh, see you next time and uh, have a great day.